Hello, YouTube land, and welcome to the Five Signores of Championship Edition! I am your host, Dantes, and of course, joining me, like always, Caliones! And we're pumped tonight because tonight it is for all the marbles. Eddie, hype beast, one on one for the Sports in Unison Championship of the World! So we're hype, we're ready to roll. Sorry about that. I'm on pump. Caliones, how you doing tonight? Hey, how you doing, Dantes? How you doing, everybody? And finally, after three long weeks, we have the Splatoon 2 finals ready. It is going to be Eddie versus Hypebeast. And this is after you know, battle after battle, uh, you know, some awesome competition. It went down to the wire on a couple of them. But we have the two finalists for the chance of winning a $50 eShop card. So Dantes... Go ahead and get ready with the rigmarole roll. Get it started so we can witness this fight. Okay, Eddie, yeah, the room is open. You can go in there. Password is 7890. Anyway, with that said, let's do that rigmarole roll. I want to welcome everybody to the Force in Unison Live Splatoon 2 Championship. Of course, I am your host, I'm Tess, and I'm here to remind you guys. We have a, a Nintendo podcast, Caliones. A small Nintendo podcast, but it's a really awesome podcast. It's called the Get In and Get Out Nintendo Podcast. Every Saturday, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Also, remember, we, you can get that podcast on SoundCloud and iTunes, even though it's four episodes behind. I'll get caught up this weekend. Uh, also, uh, we do have a Facebook page called At Forcing Unison Gaming. And finally, and then Tess says, finally, go to chigerosnews.com and switchcard.net and give some clicks and love to my boy Caliones. With all that said, are you guys ready? I said, are you ready? So... For the no one in attendance and the 10 people watching around the world, let's get ready to rumble! Uh, go ahead, Eddie. Go in there. Uh, other, the other thing that I do want to say is we're going to change things around a little bit. So, it is not going to be for the, the best... Oh, Eddie says he can't join. I don't know why, Calionis. Can you find... You're you're muted. No, I'm just saying that um, Eddie has a right. Uh, yeah, I don't have him on the friendly because he is not my friend. He is uh, one of my enemies on the Splatoon he turf. He says he so. won't let me join. I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Caliones, uh, you're gonna have to uh, sign out and sign back in. Okay, so let me see. Uh, yeah, just make sure on here. And yeah, uh, Eddie, just go ahead and send me the friend request again, just to make sure. Uh, I thought I had you on here. I don't know. Um, I I know I haven't blocked anybody at all, so so it's not gonna be you or or anybody else. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, but let me. Hmm. No, I'm not gonna close the other private battle. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait uh, for Eddie. No, I think you're gonna have to. Uh, uh... He said you use your friend. Okay. Just get out of the room and create it again. We'll, we'll do that. Okay. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and exit out, uh, go back in. Um, Eddie and Bisty is still going to be the same password. It's going to be 7890. This is going to be only for Eddie and Bisty since they are the two finalists for on the tournament. Okay. The room has been created again. Uh, so, guys, come in. At your leisure. Okay, Eddie is in. Okay, Dante, so Eddie is in, Beastie is in. Do you want to say anything else before we move on from this screen? Yeah, I was talking and then I, I noticed that I was uh, muted. So I apologize. I did like a long rant. But anyway, what I was saying, peeps, 
and the 17 people watching around the world. We're going to change it up. It's not going to be the first one who wins four games. No, 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 no. We're not going to make it that easy. Beast and Eddie, you're here to entertain us. So tonight is going to be the first one who gets. What is it, Caliones? 10 or 15? What do you want, Caliones? Uh, well, I mean, you know that what I proposed first, but um, my proposal was probably going to last like two whole hours <laughs> of fighting. Um, we'll do 10. And we'll the do 10. We're we'll going to go numb. Let's do 10. We'll keep it sweet. We're, we're going to do 10. Yeah, we can keep it sweet. And if we finish early, maybe your boy, Caliones, can come out and whip some ass. I'm still thinking about it, but we'll see. But anyway, with that said, so it is the first to 10. Got it, Eddie? Got it, Beastie? The first one who wins 10 games. We'll go and move on to be the champion, Caliones. So, my friend, my brother, my cousin, can you go ahead and start the battle? The first one. And um, yeah, and somebody, you know, there's a couple of people asking if they want, uh, if they can spectate uh, on here. But uh, at this moment, um, we cannot let anybody else because uh, one, we can only have two people spectating at the same time, and two, uh, you know, Dantes and I, we need to spectate so we can see the battle and the action in real times, uh, and we can commentate. And you can get all those what a maneuver from Dantes in real time, and not, you know, like you know, later on. Okay, remember guys, the first to 10. So we're gonna start with the uh, number one seat, right? It was a beast, so we'll start with beast. Beast, you're the first one to be spectated on. And the battle starts. And of course, this okay. is Turf War. This is my least favorite when it's one-on-one, -on -one, but we'll go in through all the motions. Right, Caliones? Uh, yes, um, but one uh, one thing we haven't decided yet, Dantes, is are we going to re re uh, revisit Turf War again, or is this going to be the only time that they're going to uh, battle on this well, it's, one? It's 10 games. We're going to have to revisit it at least one more time. So. Okay, so guys, uh, just so you know, we're going to be playing up to, the, you know, until one of them uh, gets to 10 wins. Um, this is not going to be like the first one, which is going to be four wins. This is going to be 10 wins for the finals. Uh, so, guys... This is gonna be, I think it's gonna be pretty hectic, pretty nice. We have the two best players uh, throughout the tournament. Uh, they've done a great job and they you know, pretty much dominated their respective uh, battles. Uh, the, the previous one uh, with Eddie, it was a pretty close one, but uh, he you know, ultimately won. Uh, but on this, um, do you have a favorite on this one or is it too close to call? Oh, they're the two, they're, 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 the, they're the best of the best. Of course, Dig doesn't have a, a, a switch right now, so that could have been a, a different maker. But they are the best of the best. We'll see what happens, Caliones. I don't have a favorite. I don't know who's going to win. What I want is exciting matchups like we had last week. We had some great competition, Caliones, last week. And I expect that the competition is going to be hard and strong tonight. So we'll see what happens. It could be that we get to 19 games, Caliones. I don't know. We could get up to that. We'll see what happens. Yeah, and, and that was about one of the best things about it last week. Because, uh, I mean, throughout the first week, the, uh, uh, you know, the eliminations and, and all those others, yeah, it kind of felt like, like the, 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 yeah, the, the, the fights were going out quick. Uh, it was, um, I mean, either you know, like uh, a sweep or 4-1 or something like that. Uh, but for the most part, it wasn't as competitive as we hoped for. But once it got to the quarter, you know, the the quarterfinals and especially the semifinals, uh, those were pretty hectic battles. You know, great battles. You know, pretty even, and both of them were doing great. Uh, so, yeah, uh, we'll see if that continues to you know transpire on this one. And so far, it's uh, it looks like a pretty close fight. Uh, you know, uh, Beastie does have the uh, flat dualies, and he's been you know trying to use it to uh, outmaneuver and at the same time evade uh, the attacks. Uh, so far, Eddie has been, you know, winning the uh, the one on one battles, but this is turf war, uh, so we'll we'll see uh, who dominates at the end. Well, Eddie has splatted high beast a couple of times already, but maybe it's because uh, high beast is just worrying about painting the floor, Kalionis. 
We'll see. What do you think? Is this close or you think Eddie got it because of all the splats that he got in this game? Another splat by Eddie! Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, on this one, uh, Eddie uh, was able to win pretty much all the one-on-one uh, -on -one battles oh, and uh, you know, gain yeah. control of the ground. This one was an easy victory by Eddie. So remember, Hypebeast, it is just the first matchup. You can come back. It is the first to 10. So there's plenty of opportunity to come back in the game. Okay, so, so far, this is just the first one. Like we said, it is the first one to win 10 battles. So, yeah, it's still, you know, pretty much even. Eddie needs to win one uh, nine more. Uh, yeah, Beastie needs to win 10. Uh, so it's still a long way to go. Uh, let's see if, um, if you know, Eddie can continue the winning streak and put a lot of pressure on Beastie or if they're going to keep, you know, changing wins and keeping it tied more or less until the end. Yep, I agree. What up, No More? Welcome. Cool drummer in the chat, what up? We got a special appearance by Toys and More Club. Welcome back. A lot of people miss you. Uh, let's see who else we got in the chat. Room was popping tonight. We got Dig, Natalia, welcome. Randy, ah, the OG, welcome. A lot of people, a lot of people. Yellow Seth Gamer, what up? Ape, apellito, I guess it, that's what up. A lot of people asking for Despacito, Calinas. You owe me Despacito. We're about to get to the one year anniversary of the channel, which is going to be at the end of April. We're closing the channel if Calinas doesn't deliver the goods by then. So he got an ultimatum. Okay, Calinas, click the next one. Yeah, you are you are muted. I finally, I, I finally got the pens delivered. I got them delivered on here. Uh, so I finally got the pens. Yeah, I can write a. down the uh, who a. wins, so who loses, and, a. So and goes. Start. Click a. But, but yes, um, I said if I don't do the video of Despacito, I'll go ahead and do it live uh, on on one of one of our live streams. So I'll do it live, so the people know that it's not edited. I'm not changing my voice. It is my natural voice. Yeah, hey, E3 is coming. We need a new a new uh, a new bet. So okay, on this one we're gonna spectate Eddie Calderas. Eddie. And while, oh, I actually put Beast, my bad. So, there we go, there's Eddie. And while uh, they got that matchup, Calderas, I need to, to get a tinkle going, you know what I'm saying? I'll be back. Okay, and while Dantes relieves himself, um, we are seeing the, the second battle. Uh, the first one was Turf War, and he was able to win the one-on-one -on -one matchups against uh, Beastie and maintain a uh, pretty good lead. Uh, on this one, it seems like Eddie is gonna be able to uh, win a pretty fast one uh, on the Rainmaker. Uh, so this is two to O. Uh, it is a best of seven match. Uh, and so far, Eddie has been dominating uh, the first two. Uh, this was a pretty quick one uh, for the Rainmaker. Uh, and so let's hope that, you know, Dante is able to relieve himself quick uh, because yeah, the battle is already over. Okay, next one is going to be moving over to the Splat Zones. Uh, again, it's going to be a random stage select. And let's see if uh, Beastie is able to fare better on this one uh, than on the, uh, on the previous one. Okay. Um, right now, they're probably making uh, you know different selections and and different things on here just to um, you know different weapons or, or things like that they're, they're going to be using. Uh, and guys, uh, you're just going to take the time because Dantes is uh, out right now. Um, probably getting some water. Pro probably doing other things as well. Uh, but yeah, he will be back shortly, so we can continue on here. Also, uh, I want to give a quick shout out to Joseph uh, Bremer. Um, I believe, um, you know, hopefully I'm pronouncing it correctly, but Joseph Bremer, thank you for subscribing to the channel. Uh, you know, hopefully if you can join us, uh, you know, come over to the chat. Uh, we're hosting the Splatoon 2 tournament right now. 
Um, and you know, just uh, having some fun here on the finals. Uh, just waiting for Dantes to you know come and join us again, so we can uh, go over to the splat zones, which is the third battle uh, on this one. Uh, the first one to get to ten. Uh, Eddie wants Dantes to hurry up and press A because if not, it's gonna he's gonna lose the momentum. Uh, <laughs> so we'll see if uh, the added break uh, for Beastie helps him out at the end. And uh, we're going to be spectating uh, Beast again. Uh, Hypebeast uh, has decided to go with his uh, Splat Duties once more. Uh, you know, for the Splat Zones, uh, Eddie is uh, using you know, his uh, you know, bombs first and trying to fire from a distance. Uh, he does have a pretty lethal weapon, uh, the Umbrella, that he can use from a close by. So, uh, really you know, good defensive weapon. Um, and let's see if he knows how to use it on here. Yeah, uh, so yeah, Beast is, um, well, he's, uh, he's uh, doing you know, pretty, much, pretty better, or you know, much better on this one than he did on the first one. He's gotten so the first won, lead. Who won the matchup, uh, the matchup before, Kalyanis? Uh, the matchup, uh, Eddie won it in probably like 25, 30 seconds, so it was a pretty quick matchup. Oh, wow. Uh, so but, it's 2 uh, 0 right now. 2 0. Yeah, so he has a, a pretty good lead on here. Uh, Eddie did use a bomb rush. Uh, to you know, take control away from uh, Beastie, but Beastie was able to maintain and not lose it completely. Uh, so he's uh, so far has been doing great uh, and keeps their pressure on uh, Eddie. Um, now he was able to dispose of him, and he's able to you know stay on the area, just make sure that that whenever he comes back again, he can try to like uh, splat him before he gains uh, control. So we'll we'll see how this one works out, but. Beast is in pretty good position uh, to try to win this one. One more splat from Beast and he will be able uh, to win the match. Actually, uh, good bomb rush by Eddie uh, on this. So, Beastie now he's going to have to charge again. Uh, aside from his time stopping, but he also had 54 seconds added uh, to him. So. Eddie is able to you know, gain some control on here, uh, and he does have the splashdown ready as well uh, once he goes to the uh, the other section. How could it be the turning moment in the matchup where Beast gets back in the game, Kalionis? Uh It certainly looks that way, Dantes, but. Um, Eddie is still uh, defending pretty well. There's still two minutes and 30 seconds left on the match, uh, so he can still uh, gain control. Bisky, the only thing he needs to do is just avoid the bomb rushes like he has been doing on there. Uh, not let uh, Eddie gain control because yeah, every time he gains control, his time continues to reset. And wait, yeah, is, is, is uh, uh, Eddie using there. the umbrella? Ella? Ella? Yes. Ella? Uh, Why is, is Eddie using the umbrella for this matchup? Any advantages? Uh, that umbrella brings. Well, it's it is a very good defensive weapon. So I mean, if, once you open it in front of the enemy, uh, you can block all the incoming ink. But at the same time, it works kind of like a shotgun. So it is a pretty lethal weapon uh, in close range. Uh, you gotta be careful. Uh, you know, try to avoid it um, because, like I said, it is very lethal. In one shot at close range, can uh, basically end you. Um, this one, it seems like Beastie is going to win it. Uh, by the time Eddie uh, spawns and returns, it's going to be pretty much over. So it's going to be on the single digits. If Beast can hold on, uh, he will be winning this matchup. Interesting. Maybe the mistake was picking the umbrella, maybe. I don't know. But that, he defended really well. Oh, but he still gets splatted right at the end, Kalionis. What a maneuver. Just right there. And Beast, and Beast gets the win. Uh, so now uh, it is uh, you know, a little more even. Eddie still has the lead, but Beastie by winning is making it two to one. Only one more match, and uh, he can go ahead and tie it. Uh, great game, everyone! It's it was a you know, pretty even match, uh, and this is what we want to see. We want to see matches like this one uh, because yeah, you know, people just enjoy the uh, the talent and they enjoy the different strategies uh, that you know, like both of the players are employing. Um, let's go ahead and get to the next one. It's going to be tower control, 
and uh, Dantes. Uh, this is the one where once they climb onto the tower, the tower starts moving, but the goal for the tower is at the opposing team's uh, you know, section. So the closer that you move the tower, uh, the closer that it gets. Um, it and, seems uh, like Eddie... Eddie just left? Uh, no, at Beastie. Uh, had, to oh. eat, uh, had to leave real quick. Let me see. Okay. Um, oh, there's no one right there. <laughs> I guess the battle. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do on this one, Kalionis. <laughs> okay, so what do you want to do on this? <laughs> I don't know. Can you exit out? Okay. Uh, well, uh, Eddie, uh, I'm, we're going to go ahead and exit out this one. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and re uh, you know like just uh, reset the uh, uh, the room and go back in. But how much time are we gonna give him? Uh, he said uh, he was gonna eat high beast, so I guess uh, his mom came and said you need to eat. Uh, I don't know. He just needs to run. Let's see. Uh, yeah, Eddie just. Um, just hanging around. Eddie, yeah, you're being spectator right now. Do your thing. I don't know if you want to dance. I don't know. Shake that ass. Watch yourself. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. I don't know. Uh, do like a, a dance, a, a, a octo dance. I don't know what you call that. I don't know. Yeah, it's, uh, I think Beastie just left real quick just so he can connect his, you know, like um, the, the internet device so he can lag on the game and, and gain an advantage on it. Uh, <laughs> I guess he... <laughs> okay, there he was. How, how that happened, I don't know. I guess we're gonna wait okay. for uh, Beastie to come back. I don't know what we're gonna do. Or uh, I don't know if you wanna make uh, some people... Uh, well, you know, Eddie wants to fight you one-on-one. -on -one. Give him a show. Okay. Well, um, I got the uh, the Pro Controller connected now, so... Oh my uh, god! Uh, let's, he's, let's pulling, he's pulling the... Uh, the big guns. Let me let me get in position here. <laughs> it's halftime. Uh, cool run. Uh, cool drummer saying that it, it is halftime. It is halftime. So time. this is the uh, the half. We'll spectate Calionis and see how well he does against Eddie. Game. What? What do you mean uh, you can't friend me? Uh, Toys and more Club. And Eddie won the fight. You know what? Uh, I'm gonna do it again. I'm sorry. I'm gonna make it third four uh, to see who splats the, the, the other person most. <laughs> I'm a sword loser. Sorry about that. Boy, it's high in Dutch, my friend told me. Okay, so turf four. Eddie. Let's do it again. Yes. I'm gonna take care of Ed Shireen right now. Yes, uh, Dantes, please uh, kindly tell Eddie that if he wins, uh, he's disqualified from the finals. I'm kidding. I'm not. That's not true. That's not true.
Come on, I gotta splash down and I don't do it on time. Um, but uh, just to answer a few questions on the chat, uh, Joshi, the only the only reason mainly is because currently uh, Discord is not being allowed uh, on at the house uh, for certain reasons. So yeah, we are uh, controlling our technology in the household. Let's see you come back from this one, Eddie. Let's see you come back from here. yard fight uh, on here. I'm just trying to knock down the bull. And that's kind of not fair. <laughs> okay, 28 more seconds. Uh, and I have the roller, so I need to hurry up and uh, try to get a little more of this section. I think if I can splat him once more, uh, it's gonna be pretty much it, so let's see. about who won I'm caring about the other splats on here so, two to two come on it was two to two okay that doesn't count it, it was a tie it was a tie who won you know well I mean he won but I was counting I was going for uh the uh the splats and we tied up on that one ah uh, sure Okay, one more. I guess uh, Splat Zones it is. Uh, and hopefully uh, Beast is going to be back by then. I mean, so if he eats like I do, uh, it should be like only five minutes. Like usually it, it, it takes me like an hour to cook, but then I eat everything in less than five minutes. Okay, so we'll spectate Kalianas in this one. Okay, so let me hurry up. <laughs> no respect. No respect. Kids these days, Lantes. No respect. Sure. Okay, let's focus, people. We're getting the halftime show right now. Yes, we, we were supposed to have a championship here, but, you know. Yes, drummer. <laughs> That's the only way I can describe it as well. Uh, not good at all. Not not a good look for my channel. Oh. There you go. At least you got one splat there. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Oh no, that's not. He wasn't even aiming directly at me. It was it was to the side. Come on, that's not fair than this. Uh I mean Yeah. Okay, the game's rigged. The game's rigged. I'm shooting point blank at him and he still you doesn't need headshots, Calion. Headshot. Hey, high beast is back, so we're ready to continue after this matchup. High beast, give us a minute! Uh, we're waiting for uh, Calionis to get his banking, and then we'll go ahead and start the matchup. I'm going to blame this on Hypebeast. If he would have never left, I would have never played. Anyway, thank you for that's, the entertainment, uh, Calionis. Uh, let's go ahead and bring uh, Hypebeast going back into the room, please. We can start the next matchup. It is, as a summary, guys, it is 2-1 to one with Eddie winning as of this time, of course. We'll see if that changes. Okay. Well, uh, Hypebeast is going to be the same room, same password. So go ahead and come back in on this one. And we are ready. It's going to be Tire Control, uh, which was the one that we were supposed to be playing uh, next. So we will be doing that one. Come on, Hypebeast. Get in there. I want to I get this rolling. Hey, Dantes, and uh, go ahead and do a quick reminder to the people on here about yeah, what ready. we didn't do on Tuesday and what we're going to be doing tomorrow. Sure. So, we're uh, switching, switching it up. Switch. <laughs> switching it up a little bit. Uh, we are moving one of our shows to uh, Sunday, but we're still going to have that show tomorrow, Thursday. So, typically, Forcing Unison Live. Is on Tuesdays night. Uh, we're gonna try to see if we put it on over the weekends because that way we have straight content for you uh, from Saturday all the way down to Monday. Three straight days of forcing unison gaming channel goodness, and then of course on Wednesdays we'll still have streaming Wednesdays. So, uh, high beast can't find his switch. Okay, great. Uh, anyway, uh, we. So this Thursday, we will be having Forcing Unison Live tomorrow. A lot of good news. Hey, for a Sony fan, a lot of good damn news. Spider-Man looks awesome on PlayStation 4. Uh, and it's going to look even better on the Pro, just saying. Yeah, go ahead, Kyle. Um, and, not all, and not only is it awesome, but what was the big news for Spider-Man today? The Special Edition? That it finally got a release date. Oh, the release date, yes, yes. It finally has a release date, so on the, on that's the, something we're going to be talking about. Yeah. Yeah, that's yep. something we're going to be talking about tomorrow. tomorrow. Yep. Uh, and, yeah, and especially it looks like a, a pretty good month uh, overall. Uh, so we'll see uh, if it's a good decision for Sony to release it at the date that they stated uh, that we're going to be talking about that. Also, we're going to talk about some rumors out there about yeah. a new Sony console uh, and which uh, one it is. Uh, so, well, we'll, we'll see uh, and speculate on that one as well. well uh, it's and not coming out. They're going to do the same strategy, but it's okay. it's okay. And, of course, uh, Dantes has a, a special unboxing uh, for tomorrow. Uh, tell him what it is, Dantes. Nino Kuni 2 unboxing live during Four Seasons and Live. So, we'll be talking about that. We'll see what happens. The only thing I'm seeing, Calionis. Calionis, you have to give credit with credit due. Sony this year looks like stack stack lineup they already got a a, a 92 out there with the uh shadows of the colossus that game is uh awesome uh now hopefully god of war will uh will deliver i i hear a lot of good previews but we'll see we shall see uh and then of course spider-man uh could also deliver big and we haven't even spoken about detroit become human and dreams i don't care about dreams but uh, Detroit Become Humans, I do care about this this matchup. We're going to spectate Eddie. Okay, and uh, I mean, touching upon uh, that a little, um, it seems like, you know, like games like Shadow of the Colossus and, and Nino Kuni, they're getting lost in the shuffle uh, because of the, the big releases that everybody else is waiting for. 
Uh, so hopefully those games are still going to fare good. Uh, you know, quality games uh, coming out, but still, uh, I think they deserve more attention. But uh, hopefully tomorrow, by talking about those games, uh, we can bring a little more attention to them uh, for the uh, the PS4 owners. Uh, but uh, let's go ahead and going back to the match on here. Uh, Eddie has taken control. He does have uh, control of uh, the tower, and he has this patch of Beastie for the second time, so he can continue moving it forward. Uh, so, what do you think about Eddie and how he has been performing so far, Dantes? I mean, you have to give him credit. He is really kicking ass right now. Uh, he could he could take control of this matchup, taking a three to one lead right now. So we'll see how that happens. Uh, Eddie is really good at, at, in defense and being a tower. The whole point of tower is being defensive. But hey, to Beast's uh, uh, credit, that bucket is delivering because he just splatted Eddie and regain control of the tower, Kalion. Um, yeah, and I mean Eddie, uh, yeah, he's doing a good job. But Beast, uh, he's. Um, yeah, you know, uh, keeping a good distance on here, throwing the other bombs, making sure that he's away from the perimeter, and he has the bucket. So if Eddie gets close, uh, Bisky can go ahead and fend him off. Uh, that was a good use of the, uh, you know, the the bubble on there for Eddie. Uh, so he has gained possession again, uh, and still has the lead, 47 to 62 on this one. I would say Carlos is watching all these great competitors in this tournament. I have to say that Eddie has one of the best defenses in the game. Just saying, he does a really good job evading and defending, uh, not getting splat, Kalios, which makes him uh, last longer in matchups. So. Yes, and I mean, the, you know, fortunately for him, uh, he's you know, pretty even when it comes to you know defense and offense, uh, you know, uh, special here and how to use the specials. Yeah, you know, like how to use the specials, especially on here. Um, I mean, he's doing a great use of it. Okay, and uh, like Beast, uh, his you know his bucket use. Uh, I mean, it's he's been uh, on point uh, somewhat, but Eddie has been able to uh, you know, just kind of continue oh! to defend, continue to. High piece did a good job there. Eddie was trying to do a stealth kill. But Hype says, uh uh, girlfriend, not tonight. And there you got it. Yeah, normally uh, Eddie is pretty good at those. Uh, like if you saw me on like Mario Battle with him, I do have a special where I can see his location and where he is, uh, even at a distance. Uh, but uh, basically, you're still able to see him and attack him. What a splat, Caliones from long, far away with a bomb. You have to give credit with accuracy. Eddie accuracy using his bomb. And Eddie uh, can, you know, still continues to fight. Oh, 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 wait, wait. And, oh. Uh, and, you know, and we stamp all the oh, attacks. Oh, 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 my God, 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 what a, what a defense. Oh, my God. Oh, here we go. Oh. Uh, that's uh, some, of the, some of the best exchange on here. Uh, none of them are relenting. They're still uh, pretty even. They're still going at it. Uh, and not giving an inch than this. Yes, this is a highly competitive matchup. And this is what we came to see tonight, Caliones. Some nice competition. And if Eddie, I mean, if Beastie is able to get Eddie on this one, uh, he probably will be able to tie it up uh, or get close to Ooh. it. But Eddie still continues to win the one-on-one -on -one No, battles. Caliones, that was Beast's opportunity to come back in this matchup. I think Caliones, that that is all she wrote. But it's not over until the fat lady sings Caliones. And I don't see a fat lady right now, so let's see what happens. Ah, uh, Beastie just escaped oh! from that one in. I think now the, the fat lady one. has so This sung. is pretty over. Yes. Yeah, there's no way to come back on this. This, uh, it's uh, Eddie's game and taking a 3-1 to one lead than this. Yep. Good matchup, guys. Good game. Good game. Okay, so from here, we're going to be moving over to the next one. I believe it's going to be Clamp Blitz. 
Uh, this is gonna. This is the uh, the last rank battle or uh, rank mode that was added to Splatoon 2. Uh, as you can see on the results, uh, Eddie had eight to two splats, winning the uh, the one on ones uh, against Beast on this. But uh, Dantes, it is only one game, and even though Eddie has the three one lead, it is still the first one to ten wins. So yes. a Beastie can still make a comeback. Don't call it a comeback. Yeah, that's what you said and, last and time, said, Eddie. That's... And you still uh, kicked some ass last time. Yeah. So don't, don't give me that BS. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what I was about to say, that one. Exact same thing that he said before, and they still won. So, yeah, nah, I'm not buying it, Eddie. Not buying it. Okay, so in this matchup, we're going to spectate Hypebeast. Okay, and hype these. Actually, um, well, he's first had the uh, the you know, splat dualies, then he changed over to the bucket. Now uh, he's back with the um, see, um, uh, is it a splash hat junior? Uh, let me see. It's um, something I guess he yeah, had the weapon confused, oh, but uh, he's going with single shot. Nice. Is this gonna be the first one on the scoreboard, Caliones? He uh, is. Yes, he is. That was a pretty nice throw from a distance. And currently uh, does have the lead. Um, it is still, uh, you know, touchdown at some points. Uh, but and you know, so far, um, you know, he does have the long range weapon. So if he, if he can keep um, Eddie at a distance, uh, Beast does have the advantage uh, with the long range weapon and uh, with the splashdown as well. Uh, so we'll see uh, if he can keep uh, Eddie at bay. And he's getting too close. Okay, uh, collecting the traps on here, trying to get up to 10, and uh, he's ready for another touchdown. Oh, I think that Kaleon makes it 68 to 100. Eddie wrong, the wrong weapon for this matchup, probably. Well, um, I mean, usually it seems like you know they have uh, pretty similar strategies, but uh, Beastie having the long-range weapon on this fight, uh, he does have the advantage as long as he keeps. I Eddie uh, at a distance and not get too close. If it gets close and it is like uh, you know like close quarter combat, uh, then Eddie will have the advantage. But Beastie has been doing a pretty good job uh, keeping him far. Um, so yeah, uh, they're just gonna continue trading blows. Um, Eddie does have the football ready uh, on his end, and he's gonna try to march it uh, over to his side. This is not like Rainmaker where once you gain possession of the Rainmaker then you have to use the Rainmaker itself. Uh, this one you still continue to use your weapons, you're still going to continue to use your specials uh, so you don't have to uh, you know, change strategies you know, on how you fight. Um, only time is depending on what special you use uh, you may lose control of the football uh, but uh, I think Beast if he can he can probably just take the clamps and run over to the other side of the goal and forget that Eddie is on there. Um, I think that uh, would be, I mean, he can still make it first without having to engage one-on-one -on -one, um, if he wanted to do that. So he can, yeah, he's probably just gonna run to the goal and be the first one to score uh, before Eddie does. And I think this was, this was a mistake by Eddie Dantes. Uh, he let uh, Beast collect all the um, Clams. All the clams, and yeah, and he let him have you know his way uh, to the end zone or, or to the goal, you know, free. Um, so uh, he should have just uh, try to stay between uh, the goal and himself, uh, but instead, uh, beast scored. Oh, splat! Why isn't Eddie picking up those clams, Calionis? Explain that to me right now. Um. Well, it's uh, Eddie, uh, he's going, just going back, trying to pick up the other ones and, and score on here. Uh, Beastie was able to you know, spawn pretty quick uh, and come back, but uh, if you see the score, it is 68-58, so it only takes a touchdown for Eddie to take the lead, and uh, now it becomes anybody's game. At first, uh, it was 58-100, you know, so Beastie had a pretty good uh, cushion on there, but the cushion was lost in just a matter of seconds. Okay, and Beastie seems to be uh, scoring again, uh, making it. Let's see. Oh, he missed. Oh, he missed him. 
He got in there. Yeah, he missed him. Oh, nice defense and, there. Yeah, and that was a uh, desperation out of Eddie. Uh, he was trying to make it quick on here. Uh, if you see, uh, Beastie is not going out and trying to collect as many. He's just collecting little by little, just so the timer is going to reset and he can still uh, go get more and come back. So now he's going to get those and go back in. Uh, yeah, he's not going to worry about the other ones. Oh boy. Uh, but, but yeah, the time reset it anyway, so uh, he has to go back. So now he has eight, two more. Uh, and if he gets this one, Ooh, uh, I think it's all over. This, I think it's gonna be, it's gonna be over. Uh, if he can you know, claim these, score and come back, uh, it's gonna be over. He got it. End game. So I'll, I'll take any word for it that it's oh that is not his forte. Hey, it's that guy sixty nine, sixty nine. Welcome to the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Best name ever. Just saying. <laughs> Good job, guys. It's three to two. Calionis, are things getting uh stressful tonight? Could you see uh Beastie tying up the game? Next matchup. Well, we're going to be going to the uh, first one, which is Turf War. Uh, the initial one, Eddie won. Uh, so let's see if Eddie can, you know, once again, take advantage uh, and go ahead to wins. Or if, you know, Beast can change his fortunes and win on a, one, uh, on a matchup that he is. Uh, I mean, that he's seen better days uh, on Turf War. Eddie is pretty dominant when it comes to it. Go! Let's go! It's and if you already see, Eddie is on the chat saying that a uh, good game, but you better be careful next match. If so you he smell. is going to be taking it. We'll see <laughs> what happens. Uh, who are we expecting in this matchup? That's going to be Eddie Turn. Um, yes, it's, and he has chosen the roller. Uh, it is turf four, so he's going to be concentrating on splatting the most turf. Yeah, I mean, he's not too worried about the other one-on-ones on here, uh, just to be able to splat more areas than Beast, uh, and that way put well, more pressure uh, on Beast Carianes, to, the reason I uh, say try to make up. Last matchup he won using the splat duelist, if my memory doesn't fail me. So, switching it up is an interesting uh, choice in strategy in this matchup. Yeah, I mean, sometimes, you know, you know the saying, like, if it's not broken, uh, don't fix it. Yeah, uh, that's why I'm and, surprised yeah, he went was, with the roller. Yeah, and uh, that was actually a pretty good, um, um, you know, like comeback from Bisky. Uh, he was about to get splashed down, but he was able to dispose of Eddie midair. Uh, you know, so that was a pretty Ooh, good playing. Um, nice there, Caliones. Does that deserve a uh, what a maneuver? Yes, yes, uh, it does. What a maneuver! Good job by Eddie right now, and Dantes, painting everything. Yeah, and now, I mean, he's, you know, if you can see, you know, the roller, uh, so much, in, I mean, so much turf that he's able to splat. Every time that he disposes of bees, oh! uh, he is able to take care of give it a, give it a, give it a, give it a, give it a stealth kill, Calionis. And it's going to be really hard to come back from this one, Dantes, even though there's still like a minute and 30 seconds left, unless bees can win the one-on-one -on -one matchups, uh, he will be losing the match. Makes the splat down, Callejones. Now uh, Beastie is on the defense mode. It's still, it's still any watching game, Callejones. Yeah, and Beast uh, decided instead of going, uh, Ooh, oh, I mean. Eddie, Eddie's just like, Going after Beast instead of worrying about painting everything, Carlos, and he gets him. He gets it. Eddie is relentless on this thing. Not on my house. Not on my house. Yeah, and every time that uh, Beast has tried to do this special, uh, Eddie has been there to, you know, you know, just either splat him or to, you know, try to make him move away and, and go on the retreat. Uh, and the thing about this one is that even when uh, Eddie is retreating or going forward, he continues Ooh. to splat Ooh. the surface. 
Uh, now Beast is gonna have 20, I mean, 15 seconds. So let's see if um, he can splat. Paint, paint all that, hey, paint all that. Yeah, you got all that area that Eddie had missed. I'm surprised about Eddie focusing more on splatting instead of, uh, you know what I'm saying, Kylian, is getting this shit painted. Oh, too late. Ooh, I don't know, Caliones. This is close. Oh, it is tied up. And I think the biggest mistake, Caliones, was made by Eddie by not painting and focusing on just trying to splat Hype Beast. That was a tactical mistake by Eddie. But with that tactical mistake means, Caliones, that we're all tied up three to three, baby. And Dantes, this is now officially the closest match we have had in the entire tournament. We had not have a single match go over to game seven, tied three to three. This is the first one, Dantes. And this tells you that we have the absolute two best players on the finals, and they're, they're pretty evenly matched. Oh my god, oh my god, but it is not the uh, first to four, it is the first to ten, so this is not over, but, but, three to three, Caliones, tight, tight matchups in this battle, we're gonna spectate Beast. And Johnny B is doing his, no, 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 impression on there. Oh, oh, the battle, who gets the Rainmaker, Caliones? Oh, 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 wait, 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 oh, oh, wait, oh, okay. It's a standoff, Kalyan, it is a standoff. They just keep playing, they just well, keep making the bubble. Well, I'll say the most important aspect is not going to be who who gets a Rainmaker first, but who blows it up, because whoever blows it up, that is going to be the ink that's going to be splatting the section. So if it's yellow, it's going to be full of yellow. <laughs> if it's blue, it's going to be full of blue. Uh, and they're going to have the, you know, the... The, the advantage strategically because their section is going to be uh, of that color. Um, Eddie was able to get the Rainmaker first, but uh, Beast was able to put some pressure and make him go away. Now he is... Well, he does have the uh, the ink armor ready uh, to use. And Beast was able to... Well, he uh, missed on his splash down. Oh! <laughs> Let's do this! Double splat! That is, well, the best thing that could have happened to Eddie and Beast, if he would have been able to, like, splat him on that one, uh, he would have been able to, you know, like, you know, take it even further and get more points off of it. But as it is now, it is still a pretty even game, uh, even though Eddie is trying to do his best to fend off uh, Beast. Uh, he is doing a... A, you know, pretty berserk attack with the Rainmaker. Uh, if he's able to catch a uh, Beast on here, then he will be able to get a commanding lead. Uh, so that's why you see Beast going like crazy and trying to take oh, care wait, of him. Wait. Oh, wait, oh. oh! Eddie had it. Eddie just missed it. If he fell down, he had just flatted bees. He was ready to climb up the wall and take it from 91 down to the 40s, but he fell, Dantes. Uh, also, I want to take a quick time out to say thank you to, to Mini T Mac 2018 to subscribe to our channel, Mini T Mac. Uh, even though we're doing the Splatoon 2 finals right now, uh, we every Wednesday we do the Splatoon 2 uh, streaming Wednesdays. Uh, so if you have Splatoon 2, you can join us, you can play, uh, and we can feature you on the stream. Yep. <laughs> and uh, Dantes, uh, oh yes, uh, you know, uh, Mini Team Mac, uh, we have the, the friend codes. Uh, they're over in our description box, but I'll go ahead and put it on here. Uh, and the match is over, Dantes. Yeah. Oh, so if this was the best of the first to four, we would have a new champion. But that's not the case. No, 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 no. So it's first to ten. But Eddie has taken a four to three lead, Caliones. 
But um, technically, it would not have been a new champion. It would have been a first champion. Oh, and uh, our master just came in champion. talking trash. He said, if I was here participating in this tournament, it would be me. Well, Arrow, tough talk. We'll have to wait and see when we do this tournament again, when we get to 1,000 subscribers. Yeah, uh, one thing I can certainly say in you know in Arrow Master's case is that uh, he is a very good Splatoon 2 player. I would have loved to see his skills going against the other players that we've featured on here. Uh, so an Arrow Master, uh, do not worry. We're going to be having others as well. Uh, even Eddie is taking time from the match to talk some trash uh, to Arrow Master as well. So that's how competitive Eddie is. Uh, a couple of things, guys. A quick rigmarole. Please remember to subscribe. Like! I can see I see 15 people watching, but only 11 likes? That's not that's not right. And someone disliked the video. So I want the people in the chat to find the person who disliked the video and kick his ass. Just to give you guys a heads up. So if you find them, go get them. Anyway, remember to subscribe, like, and comment. So you can make these two crazy MS happy. Next matchup, Caliones. Are we spectating? Was it? Who was it? Eddie in the last one? Or uh, uh, yeah, we had Eddie. Uh, so it's gonna be Beast, Beast on this Beast. one. Okay. Hey, don't remember. Okay. We'll see what's going on. Oh, um, and Dante, I wanna uh, take you know take some time to say. Uh, you know, uh, you know that I saw the movie Ready Player One in theaters, and um, you know me and Inkling G we were talking about, uh, you know, the movie, and we we're talking about some of the characters on there, and one of the characters' name is Sho or Shodo, uh, and he is this 11-year-old gamer, and the first time that I saw him on the movie, the person that he reminded me the most was Dig, or yeah, you know, he calls himself Spork now uh, on the chat, so it, it is, it was him. Basically, the best, uh, you know, one of the best players in the world, the best 11-year-old 11, 11 player in the world uh, in the movie. And to me, he was uh, a big reminder of Dig, uh, who is an awesome Splatoon 2 player, but uh, his uh, Switch is currently on repair, so that's why he hasn't been able to participate. It would have been interesting if we had Arrow and Dig in this bracket and see how much different this could have been, but... It's not so bad, Kalionis, because we're getting a really good damn matchup right now, right? So, uh, I mean, if, if Beast is able to win this game, he's tied up again, 4-4, four to four, Kalionis. I think, I, hey, even Stevens, what's up? I think, I think that uh, right now our competitors are sweating. Sweating armpits, Kalionis. Sweating buckets. Or and even though Beast had control of the match, uh, he's, I mean, Eddie was able to come back and now he has control of the area. So it's going to be hard for Beast uh, to go back in. Uh, let's try to see if maybe he can somehow stop Eddie uh, you know, from getting control. He does have the missiles uh, and was able to gain control of the section. But um, yeah, Eddie is still, ha no, he has the, uh, the longer range weapon. Uh, yeah, he has a pretty good um, use of the special. Um, so we'll see. It's, oh, um, Kalionis, this matchup is really close, Kalionis. Oh my god. I'm sweating bullets like the Mega this song. Sweating bullets! Oh, Kalionis. <laughs> so close. Can this be the turning point? Is it going to be 5 to 3 or 4 to 4? We're going to find out pretty well, soon, um, Kalionis. Yeah, and uh, Beast, uh, he can still, uh, you know, well, not you know, necessarily tired up, but, you know, stop uh, Eddie from getting even more control. Eddie is not, um, I mean, he's not about to, you know, to win it yet, but if he's able to splash Beast one more time, the match will be over. Uh, but still, uh, Beast continues to put pressure on there. He did gain uh, control oh. of the section, and he did reset the timer again. Oh, golly, on and out, it won't hurt. And he hurt bad.
Oh, so close there. To get some points by Eddie. But V's, he's saying, never give up, never surrender. He must be a John Cena fan. Well, and right now he can do his best John Cena impersonation and try to see if the uh, opposing player cannot see him. Uh, if Beast is able to splash uh, Ooh, you know, to Eddie one more time, he will be able to, uh, you know, get control off here. But um, Eddie is relentless. Uh, he is not giving up an inch, and he continues. Uh, to put pressure. It's close, Kalyon. This to is gain close, Kalyon. Can you feel the excitement? This is close. Oh my God! By one point, with 32 seconds remaining. Oh my God! What a timing splat! What a maneuver by Eddie! This has been a wonderful yep, um, mashup. And these, the only thing he can do is just go straight oh. ahead and match is over. It is all over, Dantes. It is over. Oh my God! What a timing splat! Right at the end. And High Peace has admittedly knows that he lost, so he was just doing the str the moonwalk at the end right there. But it's all good, Peace. Don't give up. It's still only five to three. In favor, of course, of Eddie. And believe it or not, five to three is not a big enough lead. Yes, Eddie does have a two-game cushion, but uh, it is still anybody's game. As you can see, Eddie won the the one v one matchups. Uh, he had, I believe, you know, six pass against two one, uh, which is why he was able to gain control and win the match. Uh, next one is going to be tower control. Um, Tire control, uh, the stages is going to be random, uh, and yes, uh, Eddie, it was intense. That was one of the best matches we've seen uh, in the entire tournament. So Dantes, um, do you think um, Eddie is going to continue to assert his will on here, or uh, do you think you know, like Beast is able to do a comeback on here? And also, uh, who are we going to be spectating now, Dantes? Uh, Eddie. Okay, and so far he's won the first you know, one to one and has control of the tower. Uh, <laughs> Shelby says that Dantes is texting his girl uh, during the stream. No, I was looking at a, a a tweet. Someone put posted a how they did a, a Mario Odyssey uh, crash course and how <laughs> the guy had some skills. Let me put it that way. And Toys and More Club does clarify that the girl you're texting does live with you and it is your wife. But yeah, Dante is not texting anybody, so don't worry. There's no um, no agendas going on. There's no uh, this is not Area 51 hiding stuff. It is just Twitter. <laughs> That's Twitter. Look, watching on Mario That's Odyssey. Twitter. Some people have some good talent in Mario Odyssey, and they do those crash courses. Like, really good. Hey, 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 let's do this. I'm going to tweet it to Calione. And then, Calione, you let me know what you think about all that. Okay? Okay, so go ahead and post it on Twitter, and I can go ahead and grab the link as well and just post it on the chat uh, to see if you know, anybody else watches it and, and what they think about it. But um, yes, uh, Super Mario Odyssey, it has turned out to be one of the best games to do, uh, you know, like speed runs, uh, the way that they can, you know, just, uh, you know, which is your preferred word, maneuver, uh, and do the jumps and everything, it is amazing. Uh, and at this, the match is over. It is five to four right now, Dante. No, it is six to three. Eddie won.
Oh, wait. I'm... Eddie won. It is I'm six looking to at three. the wrong one on here. Yeah, it's six to three. Oh, okay, wow. <laughs> it is six to three, Wait, people. Yeah, this is why. This this is what I have you on here, so so you can clarify those things. So yes, uh, six to three. And going back into the clan blitz, uh, Eddie won. I mean, uh, Beastie won the first clan blitz. Hopefully, he can get a win on here and make sure to keep it close. So go ahead, go ahead, Caliones. Look at the tweet that I just sent you. Tell me. You need your phone, right? <laughs> um, well, I'm, uh, I have it on the computer right here, uh, so I can uh, okay. see it quick. Uh, it is the, uh, I guess the uh, the Luigi's uh, Balloon yep. World Challenge. Yep. Look at that. <laughs> Tell me that's not crazy. Uh. <laughs> okay yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and post it on the chat so uh what do you guys think about this serious uh well, super we spectating this one Odyssey. beast right yes linguinis okay challenge. Luigi, show some respect, Dick. Luigi, the Ghostbuster. <laughs> Luigi, like the EA president's son's name. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, Shelby says that um, no use of Twitter. What? Was that like some hide and seek kind of thing? Because uh, it seems like they didn't see Beast uh, hiding behind the wall on there. So it was more like a like a Metal Gear Solid type sneak attack that he did. Well, he's, he's going for the goal right uh, now. We'll see if Beast can uh, get and score, Caliones. And uh, can he make it from this distance? I don't know. I would, oh! I would certainly take a shot. I would not have gotten that close to it. Eddie said, not in my house. And he just deleted Beast just there. Yeah, and Spork is saying that he loves Luigi, but he sometimes uses the Linguini jokes. You know, that's what I love Mario Galaxy and way more than Odyssey. It's just the chance, how they balance the two brothers to do and get all the stars. It's just, I think, way better than just using Mario to me. I just put him up a, a, a lot of different outfits in the game. I'm still saying Mario Odyssey is a great freaking game. It's just Galaxy. I like it better. So. Yeah, and uh, I think it's uh, one of the things about... Uh, whoa! Okay. If you saw that one, Eddie did the splashdown from the ink beam, not from the ground. And that's why Beast was able to do the dunk first on the splashdown, but actually not reach up to him and get him and then the second splash down was able to catch beast okay so uh, that deserves it that deserves it Caliano. Let, let's do it what a maneuver by eddie yeah uh that was yeah you know, certainly it was a great strategy and another strategy on this one if you remember the first fight dantes eddie had the brush uh that he was using to fight so he was you know at a disadvantage when it came to the uh the you know the close uh battle or, or the, uh, the long range fighting uh, which Beast did have the advantage on this time. Uh, he's, you know, shows him a, a blaster, and so far, uh, is able to, you know, keep it at a distance. And that was some pretty good moving and fighting here. Pretty good matchup going on in this one, Caliones. Yes, and I mean Beastie, uh, you know, using the uh, uh, the beam, uh, you know, playing defense, you know, for the most Ooh. part. Yes, uh, he is going uh, straight at Eddie, but at the same time, he is more worried about defense than anything else. And I'm not sure I would stay on here uh, to do 
uh, the, the close range fight. Uh, even though if he does get splatted, uh, he does have the chance to respawn again at his section. But uh, I believe he should have just gone back and, and gone for more, you know, more clamps uh, than this. Or, well, I mean, he already has a football uh, waiting there. It's still interesting, Kalianas, because it's still a close matchup. And Eddie this time is, you know, he got, I guess, I would say, beat up pretty nicely in the last time they faced on Clamp matchup. But this time, Eddie came prepared with a different strategy. And it's been pretty close this time. It's only, it's only oh. 50 seconds to go. Dantes, do you see that uh, beast? Uh, I mean, Eddie threw the football, but he actually missed oh. uh, giving the chance to Beast to throw it and, and take the lead on here. Oh, if he it's can. a game. They keep saying football is a game of inches, Caliones. So, Eddie, I think the stress got to him. And that would have put the whole tournament out of range. It would have been up 7 to 3, but this is allowing Beast to get one more win. If he can hold on, uh, oh, oh, on this. wait, oh, oh, wait, wait, oh, he's doing, he look at his moves. That's why they call him, they call him <laughs> Barry Sanders. <laughs> but it's overtime, Caliones. It is on overtime. Oh my god, so the next score wins the game, right, Caliones? Uh, well, either the next score or if Eddie is able to splat Beast before he gets over to the zone, uh, Beast is going to be... Uh, he actually ran out of time. Oh, that means that puts it 7-3, to three, Caliones. Woo! Come on, Beast. We don't want the championship game to end yet. So pick it up, my friend, because it is not over. No, Shelby, I'm never going to be the girl in Doki Doki, even though I don't know what Doki Doki is, but it's all good. <laughs> it is a literature club type game. Literature. Okay, so we're going to go back to Turf War. What? what? Uh, it is yeah, more like a, like you know, those graphic novel type games, uh, so it's more story driven than anything. It doesn't really have you know too much gameplay except for uh, like reading and making selections on the dialogue and things like that. So um, it is one that... I guess, you know, like, like youngings uh, like to play nowadays. Hey, and Kid Fury is uh, back on the chat. Hey, Kid Fury, we yes. haven't, we actually haven't seen you in a while. The... Okay, you say yo, I thought you were going to say something else. I'm sorry. Well, uh, Hype Beast. The, let's put it this way. If you win the $50, you can give it to anybody. So why not try to win? Go ahead and and uh, and get get it going. Come on, man. Uh, it's the first one of 10. Uh, it, it is still anybody's game. Yes, Eddie does have a 73 advantage. But uh, Beast, I want to say it would be disrespectful you know, to Eddie if you don't go all out, so go ahead and go all out on these matches. Okay, so Eddie's gonna be the one being spectating in this match. Okay, and we already have Neon Eddie on the screen. Well, and Dantes, uh, what do you think about uh, Beast comments uh, stating that uh, he doesn't really care about the, the $50 eShop card, that he's just here uh, to talk to people on the chat, and that he has been letting Eddie win. And it seems like Dante is this step first, uh, I was for a sec. Okay, so yeah, we do, do have an empty chair on you know where Dantes is supposed to be right now. So yes, uh, he is taking a quick breather. Uh, he should be back. Uh, but uh, Beast, if that's true, what you just said, I want to see you try and go all out because uh, I want to see how you really measure up against uh, the champion uh, from the other group, Eddie.
Okay, and uh, Eddie was able to win the one versus one, or, or the other, you know, the head-to-head -head battle on this one. Uh, so he's having more time to splat more zones uh, while Beast uh, comes back and respawns. Uh, so let's see if he can continue to gain more control. Uh, he has his area um, inked. He is inking the mid portion of the map as well, and little by little, uh, he is establishing more of his footprint uh, on that section. And then this. Yes, I'm back. Uh, yeah, something weird happened on here. Um, it's all good. It's all good. It's like, um, I mean, if you look at my section, my screen, um, it looks like um, we're double or something like that. No, we're good. No, we're good. Yeah. Yo. Uh, go, ahead, go, ahead and, yeah go ahead and look at the live stream uh, on the YouTube channel. Yeah, I fixed it. Okay, okay. So, yeah. <laughs> You're good? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now you can see me, so if I step by to get a bottle of water, you see me at least <laughs> leave the room. <laughs> okay, Dantes and Hypebeast was able to win this one and make it 7 to 4. And I wanted to say while you were gone, uh, Hypebeast made some controversial comments. Uh, he stated that, uh, and I quote, uh, the, well, that Hypebeast doesn't care about the $50, that he only cares about being here on the chat with these people, uh, that he was not trying to win, and that's why Eddie had to had the lead. Mm. What do you think about those comments? That's just trash talking. He was he was saying that he was excited uh, before the matchup, that he was nervous, so you know what I'm saying? You can act, act all tough in front of us, but you can't lie to us. You have to remember... We're old. We've seen it all. So you can't lie to us. Forcing units on gaming. Okay, and Dantes, uh, we're going to be spectating Eddie on this one. Got it. Eddie, it is. <laughs> think what I want, Dantes? I think what I want because I know it. Oh, and uh, Dantes, um, no, just a, a quick message on here. I'm not sure if you remember uh, this WWF and WWE fighter, but uh, WWE Hall of Famer Lucius Johnny Valiant has passed away. Uh, I don't remember him. I think he was the old day. That was when he was WWF or WWFF, something like that. So, yeah. Okay, and just, uh, I mean, after that comment, uh, we're going back over to the match. Uh, Beast has the control from... Ooh! Try to splat that butt. Eddie gets the Rainmaker, Calione. And Eddie got lucky because the Rainmaker was about to get him, but the splashdown uh, did save him. Uh, now Beast is going to try to see if uh, he can you know, somehow stop Eddie uh, before he gets too close. Uh, Eddie is using the, the you know the shots from the Rainmaker, uh, keeping Beast out of distance and doing a great job about it. Uh, we'll see. Um, Beast uh, he did use the you know, Tenta missiles. Uh, Eddie is gonna be rushing and oh, so close, so close yet so far away. Okay, then this, um, well, um, I don't know, like, um, have you seen, um, you know, some of the reports online where people have been showing, uh, that they have received, like, a purple egg, uh, that looks like a dragon egg? Yep. And, okay, and what do you, what do you think that signifies? 
Everybody's saying it's the Spyro game. We'll see. I think there's been a lot of uh, rumors about that game that I think is is for sure that, that game's coming out. I think the biggest question is, is it gonna be a PlayStation Time exclusive, or because Crash uh, made a lot of money, it Activision says, ah, let's put them all in all the systems at the same time, because it would benefit having it in more systems so you get more sales, but at the same time, Activision could be thinking, hey, make the same deal, PlayStation pay for some of the development, and they get time exclusivity. We'll see what happens, I don't know. It seems, uh, and this is, this, I'm just gonna say this, and I'll, you know, call out Sony fanboys in a sense, and I'm one, and I'll call myself out too. Uh, we are okay when Sony have their exclusives, but when we get mad when other people get time exclusives, like the Tomb Raider thing with the Xbox, all the PlayStation fans were like, oh my God, what the hell they're doing? I hope that game uh, you know, doesn't sell, whatever. Guys, you have to understand that they're deals, they're business deals that they have to make sometimes. Uh, sometimes uh, third parties can reduce the cost by having time exclusives, and Crash Bandicoot is a perfect example. It, 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 Sony helped fund it, and then uh, and they got the sales, and Sony made a lot of money in that game back because the game sold really well, but now it's coming to the Switch, so who cares? It's good for the game. It can sell more. So if Spyro has time exclusivity, all Sony fans are going to be like, yeah! But then again, if it happens the other way, they start screaming. So I, I take it more as a business. It's a business. And sometimes third parties need to make some business. Another game that does perfect example of that is Wakamele. Waka Sony helped fund that game. Wakamele sold really well on PlayStation 4. And then it came out in other consoles, which sold really good too. So, And I'm looking forward to Wakamele too. So again, these are examples of good games that, you know, hey, sometimes you get it first. Good for you. But... It is good they come to other games. The only games that should not come to other consoles are the ones made by their own company. Like, hey, Sony's not going to put God of War in other, in other consoles. That's not going to happen. Or Nintendo's not going to put Mario Odyssey in other consoles. That's not going to happen. And Xbox's not going to put... What, what do they have exclusive? Anyway, I don't remember right now. But anyway, I'm just saying that it is what it is. It is a business. And that exclusives define a console so you can make your choice of what console you want to support. Anyway, rant over, Calion. Yeah, and uh, the rant is over, and the fight, you know, seems like it's on the way to be uh, over as well, unless Beast can somehow fend off Eddie. Um, this, you know, is nothing else that he will be able to do. Eddie does have the cushion. He is up 53 to 13, uh, but it is done, Dantes. It is it done. It is over. And yes, cool drummer, they have Halo, I forgot, so I, I just like to give crap to Xbox. <laughs> and I just want to say quickly, uh, one of my arch nemesis, which I mean, it's not really an arch nemesis, but uh, somebody that I've had some beef with, uh, it is uh, Marcus Sellers. Uh, you know, they, they, he calls himself the, uh, the insider, uh, um, and I've had a couple of your runnings with him but uh he did say something interesting uh he said that the next e3 is going to be space themed because uh sony microsoft and nintendo will have space related games shown at the conference so if they have space related games dantes what do you think those games would be please no more no man's sky <laughs> Well, No Man's Sky is coming out to, you know, on the Xbox. No, one. I have to say any type of game similar to No Man's Sky. I don't want Sony spending 20 freaking minutes on No Man's Sky again, ever again, in a E3 conference. Uh, uh, but anyway, uh, joking aside, space theme. I don't know. We'll see. I, will, I don't know. We'll see. Is it 8 to 5 or 9 to 5? I'm confused, Kalimans. Right now. Um, it's 8 to 5. Right now, it's 8 to 4. Oh, 8 to 4. Okay. Yes. Eddie put 8 to 5, so I got confused there. So, at this matchup, we expect Beast, right? Or was it Beast? Yes. Beast. Okay, got it. Okay, let me, let me close this. Oh, Eddie with Grand 
ruthless assault on the offensive, Caliones. Yes, and um, well, guys. Um, um, also, you know, you know since Tony Tomorrow is you know visiting tonight, uh, you guys have been wondering if um, uh, Inkling G is going to be streaming again. Uh, the answer to that is yes, uh, but uh, right now we don't know the exact date of when that will happen. But uh, surely. Uh, things that you will be seeing from the, uh, the Toys and More Club team is uh, we're gonna do you know like do some video recordings. Uh, we're gonna be posting those videos, and one of the ones that we're looking forward to is the Nintendo Labo uh, video. Uh, hopefully by the end of this month uh, it will be ready. Uh, once the game releases, we can get our hands on it and uh, we can feature it. Uh, but um, you will be seeing still uh, some stuff from. Yep, so Lavo, I, I forgot Lavo is coming at the end of this month when you have God of War the week before. So anyway. Well, no, actually, Lavo and God of War are releasing the same day. Oh, really? Ah, oh, crap. Yeah. That's why I even keep forgetting the Lavo's coming out. Uh, Dantes. Dantes. Yes. Dantes. Yes, this could be the last matchup. That's what you were about to tell me, right? This could be the last one. This could be the last one. So unless Beast is able to mount a comeback, uh, the match will be ending uh, right now. Eddie does have a nine to four lead, um, and Eddie is already saying on there that um, that he's probably gonna donate it if uh, he wins. Okay, you can do whatever you want, but it's an each of car. You get the fifty dollars on each of car, and that's it. It's a code that you have to redeem, Eddie. So, uh, <laughs> Eddie, but but I want to say, Beast. Even though you're down nine to four, do not make it easy for Eddie. Make him sweat for it. Make him battle. Make him bite his toenails um, somehow. Like if he can get his head down there. Um, but uh, who are we gonna be spectating on this one, Dante? Eddie. Eddie. Okay, so it is Tower Control, Eddie, and Beast um, has lost the first one-on-one -on -one war. Uh, if I remember correctly, the you know the second turf war, um, you know Beast had the bucket against Eddie, who had the uh, the brush, or I mean I'm sorry, the other rollers, and the one-on-one -on -one battles, um, Beast lost it six to one. So if Beast can keep it close uh, when it comes to the one versus one, then he has a pretty good chance of winning it. Um, so let's see how he can fare um, on those one-on-ones. And Eddie already up to the zero on them. This could be it. This could be the last matchup of the night, Caliones, for the championship. Of course, once the championship ends at 10 o'clock, we'll be ending the stream at 11 o'clock uh, Caliones time. But you know, we'll celebrate Eddie's uh, championship, Caliones, and uh, uh, we'll ask uh, if Eddie wins, of course. It's not over yet. It's not that the fat lady hasn't seen yet, but if Eddie wins this matchup and it's over, over, we'll let Eddie walk around the field alone celebrating his championship. And we're going to, you know, basically sing... Uh, You're the champion, well. right? And I think it's over, Caliones. And I think it is official, Caliones. We got the first ever forcing unison. It's Platoon 2 champion of the world. And his name is Eddie. And Eddie, do not go anywhere. Uh, go ahead and take a quick victory lap on here. Uh, Beast, thank you for being a part of the tournament. You know, you made it all the way to the finals. You did, you know, you show your skills uh, and how great you are. But right now, Eddie, uh, stay on the chat. Beast, if you can kindly just exit out for one second, uh, and we're going to allow Eddie to do one quick victory lap uh, on here as the first ever Force Unison Gaming champion. So Eddie, just congratulations. Well, actually, uh, I guess I'll 
you just go ahead and spectate Eddie uh, on here. Yeah, of course. Uh, so, so congratulations, Eddie. Great job. Great match. And Dantes is going to quick, is gonna, he's going <laughs> to quickly sing the chorus of We Are Champions. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I cannot put the real song, right? Because we'll get ding, right? No, we're, yeah, we're, we're going to get ding. So, and I'll, I'll, I'll join you. So go ahead and get it started, Dantes. Okay. I don't remember. And make sure you spectate Eddie. I don't remember. I need, I need, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to do this yet. Let's see. Uh, so guys, uh, this is um, something that went on for three weeks. Uh, we had uh, the, just the, um, you know, the qualifiers. We had, you know, people uh, just, you know, fight and, and see which ones would be on the top 16. After we had the top 16 players, uh, we had them uh, you know, like, you know, battle on the elimination matches, and uh, once the eliminations were done, we had the uh, the quarterfinals, uh, semifinals, and finals. Okay, uh, so we went from... Um... It's time, it's time. Let's do this. Okay, do it. Okay, wait, wait, wait one second. <laughs> And I'll present to you guys, this is Eddie. Um, he has been on our channel for a while. He is one of the absolute best in Platoon 2 players. Uh, that I we pay have. my dues time after time. I've done my sentence, but not committed no crime. And bad mistakes. Bad mistakes. I made a I few. Made a few. I, I had <laughs> my shares and kick in my face, but I've come but through. Come through. <laughs> we we are, the are the champions, my friend. <laughs> we'll keep on we'll fighting <laughs> till the end. We are the champions. Yeah. We, are we are the champions. The champions. Yeah. No, no time for losers. Because we are the champions yeah. of the world. Thank you for playing our game, our tournament, and goodbye, sucker. That was, that was the only way you can get him, honestly. <laughs> I had to, I'm sorry, uh, it was building up for a time. But, uh, Eddie, uh, great game, uh, great tournament. <laughs> and, I'm sorry. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> anyway, uh, with that said, so I'm going to do this, Eddie. Uh, I will be sending, because Caliones knows you, so I will be sending the $50 to Caliones so he can buy an e-shop car to you. Well, it, uh, it, it all depends because uh, does Eddie want the physical card or does he want the other uh, eShop code? Well, oh, we're just gonna give him the eShop code. Got to be honest. I think that's so. Easy. Yeah. So Eddie, uh, just go ahead and, and, and talk to us uh, and tell us your preference. You know, whichever, whichever way you want it, we can go ahead and do it that way. Uh, so, I mean, he's he's on the chat anyways. Um, no, I know. I'm just saying. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I, what I was thinking is just emailing the code. That's the easiest thing to do. But uh, okay. So, um, Eddie, tell us your preference. Do you want the uh, the code? Do you want it physically? Uh, which way do you want it? I don't want the money. Give it to my bae. What? What is bae? Don't, don't listen to him. Okay. Just... No. No, uh, no, no, guys. No, that's not That's not how you play. You, you get the code, and then you give it to whoever you want to. Yeah, they have to follow the rules of the, of the competition. Fifty dollars. We'll give it the code to you, Eddie. We have to be fair that people will think we're we're finessing people or something. We are not finessing people here. Uh, you will be getting the code, uh, and then you can do whatever you want with it. But that's the deal. Okay, and and uh, before we go, I want to say thank you to Aiden uh, De La Pena. 
uh, four subscribers uh, to our channel. We have one more subscriber, and hopefully you can join our family. All these people right here, uh, those are you know people that are day in and day out with us. Uh, we make fun of you know fun of each other. We battle against each other, but ultimately uh, this is you know part of the Four Seasons and Gaming family. And I do appreciate everyone that comes over to our channel, chats, engages. And just, um, you know, we appreciate one another. And Eddie uh, still uh, had to kill you at the end there. But anyway, connections lost. It's over. <laughs> it's over. I think it's time to do our rigmarole, Caliotes, and end it for tonight. Right? Yes, Anything to sir. Add? Was it fun? Yes, uh, very fun. Um, you know, matches were you know, pretty hectic. Uh, once it got you know tied up 3-3, uh, I mean, the tension was building up, but Eddie was able to pull ahead and win. So uh, Beast wants to go against me one-on-one. -on -one. Um, you're going to have to wait until next Wednesday. Uh, it's 10 o'clock and I'm tired. <laughs> Excuses, but it's all good. Anyway, uh, we'll do that next Wednesday. Uh, yes, we'll give you the code on this court. Uh, what we'll do is, uh, Kalina, since you're the one who controls this court, uh, go ahead and... Uh, uh, I don't know if you want to buy the code and then I send you the money. Either way, it's fine with me. Uh, we'll talk about it offline and see how we handle this. But anyway, thank you. Thank you for everybody who participated in this, this beautiful tournament to crown our first ever champion of the world for forcing Unison Gaming. Anyway, with that said, let's end it with, I want to thank everybody who watched all the tournament across the board all the participants i want to thank you you made this fun and we're happy to do this again so go help us out get us to 1000 so we can do this tournament again tell your mom your grandma your sister your brother your dog just tell anybody that they can sub and can get us to 1000 so we can go again and do this for your entertainment so please remember to subscribe, like, and comment, Kalionis, so you can make these two crazy MFs happy. Also remember, we do have a Nintendo podcast called the Get In and Get Out Nintendo podcast every Saturday, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time. You can get that podcast on SoundCloud and iTunes for free. Great us over there so you can show up some love. Also, go to the description box below so you can see the full channel schedule. I guess... We'll, we're going to update it. So anyway, I'm going to give you the updated version. So anyway, Mondays, Xenoblade Mondays. And watch out, guys. Please try to watch those videos because it, it could be coming to an end soon. So we'll see how we extend the life of Xenoblade Mondays. But it's been a lot of fun in the last three months for sure, Kalion. It's just bringing you content every Monday. Uh... Wednesdays, streaming Wednesdays, where Kalion is going to keep playing with the peeps and, of course... I'll, I can show up now with this new format that we set up here once in a while and have fun with Caliones. Uh On Saturday, the Get In and Get Out Nintendo podcast. And, of course, on Sunday, 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 the Force in Unison live, baby. Hey, we got a Facebook page, Caliones called at Force in Unison Gaming. And finally, and Dante says, finally. Go to chigueros.news.com and switchcore.net and give some clicks and love to my boy Caliones. With all that said, thank you again and good night, everybody. See ya. It's over. If I can find the cursor to end it, where's the cursor? Okay. Damn it. Is that ran out of battery? Ah, found it. Here we go. Hey, goodbye, people. <laughs>